Hello friends, welcome back to my channel, myself Chirag. In this video, I am going to discuss about types of addresses, topic of computer network. So let us see how many types of addresses in TCP/IP model. So first of all, there are four types of layers in TCP/IP model. First one is the application layer, second one transport layer, third one internet layer, and fourth one is link layer. There are four types of addresses used in the TCP/IP model. The first one is the physical address used at the link layer. The second one is logical address used at the internet layer. The third one is port address used at the transport layer. And the fourth one is specific address used at the application layer. In this video, I have explained all the addresses in detail one by one. Let us start with the physical address or we can say MAC address. So first of all, what is physical address? Physical address means unique address of the device. So all the devices which are used in the network that all have the unique address or we can say it is the physical address of particular device. Unique address is also known as the MAC address of particular device. MAC means media access control. Next, what is the size of MAC address? The size of MAC address is the 48 bits or 6 bytes. So can you explain how it is 48 bits? Let us see the example of MAC address or we can say physical address. This is the example of MAC address. So here all the numbers are in hexadecimal. So we can say it is convert into binary form. So there are two numbers. It is one and six. If it is convert into binary, so there are eight bit of numbers. So we can say total 48 bits. How one octant it is equal to eight bits value. For we can say this is convert into binary one and six. So it generate eight bit value. Again it generate eight bit value. So total six octant. So six multiply by eight is equal to 48 bits. So the size of the MAC address is 48 bits. Who will decide that value or we can say who will decide this MAC address numbers. Ok, before discuss about uh, who will decide this number, I have divided these numbers into 24 bits of two parts. Now this is the first 24 bits and this is the last 24 bits. First 24 bits is the decided by the OUI. OUI means organizationally unique identifier. So this group will decide the first 24 bits of the MAC address. Last 24 bits of the MAC address is divided by the manufacturer of the network device. So here this is the address of NIC. NIC means network interface card. So this is the permanent address of the network interface card. Can I change the MAC address? No, you cannot change the MAC address. But you can spoof your MAC address for the some time. Whenever you will restart the device at that time again original MAC will be restored. Next, what is the purpose of MAC address? The purpose of MAC address is to identify the device within the same network. If both the device within the different network, we cannot use the MAC address. See this diagram? This is the diagram of TCP IP model. So there are four layers we have already discussed. Now in TCP IP model, when data pass from internet la uh, layer to link layer, now see this uh, one packet which is passed from internet layer to link layer. Now I will zoom this packet what is inside the packet. This is the data packet comes from the internet layer. Now at the link layer source MAC and destination MAC are added before the data. So here source MAC and destination MAC is the header of the data. Other side of data the trailer is added. What is inside the trailer? Inside the trailer. Uh, there is the flow control bit, error control bit and the access control bit are added because the flow control, error control and access control is the functionality of the link layer. So this whole diagram is called as a frame. So whenever data reached at the link layer, it is converted into the frame. But our question is that how exactly data will be transferred through the MAC address. Now I am taking one scenario. So here this is the network A. There are four pieces of the network A. A1, A2, A3 and A4. So in network A, all the pieces are connected with each other through the switch. Another network, network B. There are four pieces in the network B. B1, B2, B3 and B4. This all the pieces in the network B connected with each other through the switch. Now in this scenario, network A and network B both are the different network. If both the network are different, so we cannot connect both the network through the switch. So using the router, we will connect network A and network B. Now see this is the network A and network B are connected through the router. Now all the PC will communicate with each other. Now I am taking one example. So in this example, A1 is the sender and A3 and B3 are the 
receiver. So A1 wants to send the data to A3 and B3. Here A1 and A3 both are in the same network, network A. But receiver B3 which is placed at the different network, network B. Now I am transferring the data from A1 to A3 and B3. Now see this, data reach at the switch of the network A. Next, receiver A3 receive the data successfully. Receiver B3 cannot receive the data because data is dropped from the intermediate router. Because router can only read the IP address, router cannot read the MAC address. So this is the exactly scenario. So using the MAC address, we can transfer the data within the same network. Next is logical address or we can say IP address. So first of all, what is logical address? Logical address, it is one kind of address assigned to the network device to access the network device from the same network or from the different network. Logical address is also known as the IP address of the PC or router or switch. So we can assign the IP address to the PC, switch or routers. The full form of IP is Internet Protocol Address. So here name suggests of the protocol it is used at the internet layer. Next, how many types of IP address? There are two types of IP address. One is IPv4 and second one is IPv6. IPv4 is the 32 bits address and IPv6 is the 128 bits address. So can you explain the IPv4 and IPv6 with example? Let us see the example of IPv4 and IPv6. So here the example of IPv4, this is the decimal value 192, 168, 1 and 5. So here it is the 32 bits as per the previous discussion. Why it is 32 bits? Because this decimal value convert into the binary value, it store the 8 bit value. So this one box is called as octant. So one octant is equal to 8 bits value. Here there are 4 octants. So 8 multiplied by 4. So it occupies the 32 bits value of the IPv4. Whenever I write the IPv4 value, so it is like that way. It is 192.168.1.5. Uh, so this is the decimal number. So this value is called as dotted decimal numbers. Next, see the example of IPv6. Now you can see over here IPv6 written in the hexadecimal values. So the size of the IPv6 is 128 bits. Why it is 128 bits? Because whenever you convert this hexadecimal value into binary, it stored 16 bits. Now you can see 1 octant is equal to 16 bits value. So there are 8 octants. So 16 multiplied by 8. So the size of the IPv6 is 128 bits. IPv6 is written like this way. So this is the representation of IPv6. So from the example of IPv4 and IPv6, we can say we can easily remember the IPv4 value, but we can't remember the value of IPv6. Next. Can I change the IP address? Yes, you can change the IP address value because IP address value is assigned by the network admin to the, all the devices in the network. So we can say logical address is not a permanent address. So we can change the logical address or we can say change the IP address. Next, purpose of IP address. The purpose of IP address is to send the data across the network. So here we can say the network may be same or it may be different. Also we can say we can send the data in the same network through the MAC address. If you want to know about how to send the data in the same network through the MAC address, so click on about thumbnail and watch the video. How can send the data across the network? Let us see one example. Here, this is the TCP IP model. In TCP IP model, whenever data transfer from transport layer to the internet layer, at that time segment convert into the packet. Now, I will zoom this packet. So what is inside the packet? There is the data inside the packet also include application and transport layer header. So at the internet layer, one header is added. So what is the inside in the header? It is source IP and destination IP. So it is called the header of the data and this whole diagram is called as the packet at network layer. Now I will show you one scenario of the data transfer from same network and different network through the IP address. Here it is the network A. There are three PC in the network A1, A2 and A3. These all PCs are connected through the switch. The another network is network B. There are three PCs in the network B, B1, B2 and B3. These all PCs are connected through the switch. So whenever I want to connect this different network, I need a one router. So this is the router and both the networks are connected. Let us take one example of the data transfer. Here A1 is the sender. 
A3 and B3 both are the receiver. Here A3 is placed in the same network as the sender network and B3 is placed in the different network. Now data transfer process is going on and data pass from sender A1 to the switch. Here both the switches are manageable so they can read IP address as well as the MAC address of the data. Read the IP address from the data and pass to the next hop. Now you can see over here data pass to the router as well as the receiver A3. So here receiver A3 can get the data successfully. So router is work on internet layer. So router can read the IP address only. So from the data router can read the IP address and pass to the switch. Now it is manageable switch and read the IP address from the data and pass to the particular device. So now B3 get the data successfully. So here there is two different example is covered. One is the data transfer through the IP address in the same network and another is data transfer through the IP address in the different network. Next is port address. So first of all, what is port? Port is the communication endpoint. Port number is assigned at transport layer based on the protocol and the services of the application. Next, how many types of port address? There are three types of port address based on their range. Can you explain? Let us see the different types of port address based on their range. Now see, first one is the well-known ports. The range of the port is 0 to 1023. Well-known ports are used for the standard protocols and process like HTTP port number 80, HTTPS port number 443 and FTP is the port number 21. Well-known ports are associated with the network protocols and operating system processes. Next, second type is registered port. The range of the registered port is 1024 to 49151. Registered ports are used for the ordinary user process like 1863 is the MSN Messenger, 8080 is the alternate of HTTP. Register ports are used by the application, like Microsoft uses from port number 1500 to 2500 because Microsoft registered their port at the port number authority. Next, third one is dynamic or private ports. The range of the private port is 49152 to 65535. Dynamic ports are used without registration and application to application communication in short time of period. So no need to registration using the dynamic ports. The dynamic ports like 51688 is the dynamic TCP. Port address is assigned at transport layer. So we can say all the ports are associated with TCP and UDP protocols, which are the transport layer protocols. Next, what is the size of port address? The size of port address is 16 bits. Next, what is the purpose of port number? The purpose of port number is process to process communication in the network. So how process to process communication take place in the network? Let us see one example of process to process communication in the network. Now see, this is the TCP IP model in the diagram. Whenever data transfer from application layer to transport layer at that time port number are assigned which is associated with TCP and UDP protocol. Let us see one example of process to process communication. Here in this diagram, one is the server and one is the client. Here client is used browser application like Chrome and send a request to the server uh, to access the web services. Here client request sending from the port number 1100 because browser application uses the registered port number only. So here web server check the client request and which protocol is used for the request. Now see in this table, here for the client request comes from the browser application so that is HTTP protocol is used and the HTTP protocol port number is 80. So web server receive this service from the port number 80. Now web server provide the services to the client from the port number 80 and client receive these services from the port number 1100 because browser or we can say the application uses the registered port number only. Let us take another example. Now client want to send a request for the email services from the email application to the server. Email application uses the port number 1200 and send a request to the server side. Server check the email service request and check which port number is used for the email service protocol. Here POP protocol is used. So now see in this table. So POP protocol is associated with the port number 110. So server will receive this client request at the port number 110. Now server sends a reply from the port number 110 and send a reply to the client. Client will receive 
this replay at port number 1200 because application uses the registered port number. So this is the example of how actually port number is used in the process to process communication in the network. And the last one is specific address. First of all, what is specific address? Specific address is designed by the users for access web resources through the different applications on the network. Using the specific address, we can access multimedia files and document files on the internet. Next, how many types of specific address? There are two types of specific address. First one is the URL and second one is the email address. Here I am discuss both the specific address one by one. The first one is URL. Full form of URL is Uniform Resource Locator. URL is one kind of address of resource on the internet. Through the URL, we can access the website and web documents. Let us see example of URL. URL always start with HTTP or HTTPS. HTTPS is one kind of protocol. Using the HTTPS protocol, we can access the website and web document on the internet. So here HTTPS protocol. The next part of URL is third level domain. Here in this URL, third level domain is edu-resources1. Next part of the URL is second level domain. Here second level domain is blogspot. After second level domain, it is connected with the top level domain. Here it is .com. .com means the commercial domain. And after top level domain, the remaining is the file path where our file is stored on the server. Here we can say URL made up of five different parts, protocol, third level domain, second level domain, top level domain and file path. Sometimes third level domain is the optional, but second level domain and top level domain is there in each and every URL. The next type of specific address is email. Email stands for electronic mail. Through the email, we can send and receive multimedia files and simple files like text file, images, videos, mp3 files, etc. Example of email is Gmail, Yahoo Mail, Rediff Mail and many more email servers are available on the internet. Let us see example of email address. Now see this is the email address viratkohli at the red gmail.com. Email address made up from the four different parts. The first one is the username. It is unique and chosen by the particular user. Second one is the at the red sign. The third one is hostname or email server name. Here email server is gmail. The third one is hostname or email server name. In this example hostname is gmail. And the last one is the top level domain. Here top level domain is .com. So this is the example of email. So there are two types of specific addresses are used in the network. The first one is URL and the second one is email. Thank you for watching this video.